KME fans, we are days away from the nominations coming up, but you don't have to wait because we have Pete Hammond of Deadline Hollywood. I'm Tom O'Neill of Gold Derby, and we're going to give you our predictions for what will be nominated, and hey, what's going to win? Pete, let's start with your predictions for drama series. You've got Game of Thrones, Downton Abbey, Better Call Saul, House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, Homeland, and Mr. Robot. What's going to win? Sound familiar, that list? I know. <laughs> I have a philosophy of going with whatever was on last year, put it back on. You know, and now we have some openings. You know, we have some shows, Mad Men, obviously. Mad Men uh, left, so that, that's your, you put Robot in where Mad Men robot, is. Robot, yes. And then your other six are repeats from Mr. last year. Mr. Robot has a bit of heat, and uh, it, although... USA Network is not one that's ever landed in the Emmy race. No, no, not in a big way. And they always have these kind of generic kinds of uh, shows that are not Emmy bait is what I would call. But this one has been very big on, on the uh, award seasons leading up to this. Everyone's talked about it. It's won Golden Globes and different things. One drama series at the Golden Globes. Not that that means anything. No. The Affair won Best Drama yes, Series. I know. <laughs> Critics choice. And, and you know, the Golden Globes love to be, uh, they love to crown the new kid on the block. Right, right, they right, actually, right, right. they have a reputation for that and they know it. And so, you know, you know, if you sat at the Golden Globes last year, if you'd heard of half those shows that won at that point, those were really new. They were like right off the boat and not including fresh <laughs> off the boat. But it's, it's, really, um, it's really difficult once you get to the Television Academy, because there you're dealing with, you know, kind of the uh, t tried and true voter who votes year in and year out, the ones that actually pay attention. It takes a long time to fill out these ballots, and, and they do it, and they're dedicated, and they tend to have the same taste. Yeah, I hear over and over and over, if I hear it one more time, you know the show I like? Downton Abbey, you know, I really hear this over and over. And now Downton Abbey's in its final season. I think that's a show to watch here with the Emmys because they made a big point of it being the final season here. And it won Best Miniseries its first year. The then, it, then it went over into the drama and category. And it also had a very it smart, four times. it had a very smart ending, spoiler alert. <laughs> Nothing they, really it, bad happens, and yeah, that, that yeah, sets yeah. it apart. So I think that's there. I think we have a number of shows here, but I do think Game of Thrones being the first time that it won last year, uh, if we go by past Emmy uh, voting patterns, uh, it'll probably win again It'll probably year. win again. Also because it, it just had this spectacular episode this week, Battle of the Bastards, which is up there with the Red Wedding. is one of the greatest hours of TV ever. And that's hitting right now, right while voting is going and on. And isn't that's that important happen. and is very smart on HBO's uh, uh, part to schedule these series that they put on right in the heat of the They've Emmy done that campaign. since Sex and the City, and yeah. it has paid off brilliantly. It is them. just like happens with the Oscars. Those big Oscar movies are released in the last three months of the year. They have found a way to do it, the television version of that. You know what's not on your list, Pete, and I think it's going to get in, and, and I, th I know we've talked about this, you think it could get in. I think the Americans can yes. finally get yeah. in this year. I think Orange is the New Black is vulnerable. Yeah, I, I think Homeland is vulnerable. Uh, I think House of Cards and Better Call Saul and, and Downton and Game of Thrones are all in there. But I believe, and I have the Americans getting in. But look, these other shows are uh, on the bubble. Any one of these could get in too. Narcos, Billions by Showtime. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, the one thing you can count on at the Emmys is that they're snobs. Right. And they like the upscale. You can't get any more upscale than yeah. Billions, yeah, right? right? And I even think Outlander has an outside chance there because it has this very pop, passionate vote. But... Um, I, the Emmys do like to repeat. Well, let's talk about the Americans. Every year, people, you know, this is one Critics Awards, it's won all this stuff, and every year we have to listen to FX on Emmy morning say how disappointed they are <laughs> about why the Americans got so little Emmy love. Well, there's a pattern there, and as good a show as it is, it has not caught on with your general Emmy voter in the programming right. categories. I think the I don't see how you can say that this year suddenly magically because different. it often takes several years to get on the Emmy ballot. Look at look at uh, a two-time winner of Best Comedy Series. Everybody loves Raymond was yeah. was snubbed the first few years. It does but take nominated, a while, but nominated for acting, not nominated for series. Yeah. Seinfeld was snubbed its first year or two right. for series. Look, so it, sometimes it takes a while to get up into that echelon, but I think the Americans has one critical problem, and that is it's asking us as viewers to root against the Americans. Right. And I think that's caused a problem. But I think there is uh, some flexibility in this category. I have it getting nominated. I think it, it can yeah. really get in this well, year. Well, here's, here's a, a breaking news for you. I actually voted for it. I did too. Uh, again, this year. I, did I think too. it's a very good show. I voted for it, and I know that 
my vote is not going to put it over the top. So it, it's not going to matter because the way they vote is the way they vote. And a show like that, I don't care, you mentioned Seinfeld, you mentioned Raymond, you mentioned all these sitcoms. That's it's different. true on the drama side as well, Pete. I, I'm, I'm forgetting the examples now. Uh, because but, there aren't any. Yes, there are. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, put it in the text intro to this. There are. So, uh, well, I, what do we look at Better Call Saul? Let's look at Better Call Saul. Right. That, that got nominated its very first time out. You know, that's because... Breaking it was Bad didn't. Its predecessor show was yeah. skunked its first well, year. But then Breaking Bad finished big. And this just led right into it. Sometimes it takes, you know, like a... Uh, that's what I'm saying. It takes yeah. a while to get in. And, but right. it takes something else. It takes people... They have to have a reason to watch the show. And I still don't think in huge numbers they've watched The Americans like they've watched FX's other shows. Certainly nothing compared to their miniseries and their, you know, like um, American Horror Story or Fargo or o OJ or no, any of those. None of those numbers, right. You know, that's where the FX is getting their numbers. They're frustrated by The Americans and it's going to end and make Maybe by announcing that it's going to end, they'll get a few more viewers. Or my mindset is, I didn't start watching it then. I don't have time to start watching it now. And that will, that will seal its fate at the Emmys. I'm sorry, FX. Send no, we both voted. To He's Tom wrong. We both, we both, we're both Emmy voters here, by the way. <laughs> and how this category works is that you, you check off 10 uh, programs in this, in this, on your ballot. So we both checked it off. There are only seven nominations, of course. But I think there is a lot of sentiment for it. Anyway. Uh, I have great sentiment for it. I love the show. And it's, it's quality stuff. And it would be a nice victory uh, that it finally got nominated this year. Uh, we'll see. I think uh, the shows that can win, I think the Game of Thrones will win. I think Downton can win. I think House of Cards can win. This is the strongest season yet for House of Cards. Yes. And what is House of Cards? It's the West Wing with antiheroes. That's right. The West Wing swept this category. They are snobs. They love the upscale stuff here. And Veep. it's a political year. Yes, it's so a political Veep year. So House of Cards and those kind of things. And Kevin Spacey, who is still waiting for his very first ever Emmy win, He's just had to wait till you know Brian Cranston wasn't on uh, series. And John TV. Hamm won and last John year. John Hamm right finally now, right? got his you know his. So it's gold IOUs watch. for. Let's talk about drama yeah. actor and IOUs have been paid off in the last two years. Yeah. Why do you have Odenkirk, or or is that your actual prediction for drama to win? Well, no, I I I'm not necessarily just because I have them up there saying that that they're going to win. I you know. All right, at Gold uh, yeah. Derby, uh, yeah. you're supposed to rank according to likelihood to winning, but there is some trouble with with the ranking process and the drop and drag. So um, yeah, and it was just getting you know difficult to keep doing that. Right, right. So, so who do you I think wins? Your predictions are Bob Odenkirk, uh, Kevin Spacey, Leif Schreiber, uh, Ray Liotta, uh, Kyle Chandler, and Hugh uh, Dancy okay, for the Okay, now pack. there's two new people in there, if right. you'll look at my list, that have not been nominated in this category before. Hugh and Dancy? And that would be Hugh Dancy, who's mesmerizing if they're watching yes, that the show, path, The Path. The, um, I think, who, who, I, who? I like Aaron Paul a lot too, but I really think that Hugh Dancy comes across in that. It's a great He's character. He's the cult leader in this, right. And I do think network TV is going to get a bone here if they've watched it. And Ray Liotta is a much admired actor, and it's a terrific role in Shane of Blue, right. the Jennifer Lopez cop show, and he's great in that, so I'm throwing him in as a kind of surprise entry. No here. way. He ain't getting in over Rami Malek from uh, uh, Mr. Robot. He's how? No, forget it. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, Bobby really, Cannavale. you're foaming at the mouth by <laughs> trying to uh, say Rami Malek. I think he's great. Mr. Robot, whatever. Right, right, right. You know, right. that's a critic. He's thing. in. He's in. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Paul Giamatti is certainly a contender here for billions. Kyle Chandler, you've got him on your list, uh, was nominated last year. Bobby Cannavale, look, even though vinyl was canceled, he won in the supporting category. They just announced vinyl he isn't even coming back for a second season. I know, that's what Death I'm saying. Nail. It's canceled. But, it, but th we see often at the Emmys, we see uh, people nominated anyway. I don't see that. I don't see vinyl happening. I don't think that's a show that is They on. love him so he just won in the in the guest I don't care category. If they love recently. him and you're right in the sense that actors tend to nominate the same actors over and over. I mean, Bo Bridges is on there in supporting actor. You know, I didn't pick him, but you know, I should have because he gets nominated no matter what he's in. There's certain names they like. Bobby Cannavale's very popular with the actors branch, but I don't see that show uh, figuring in any anyway, way. Anyway, uh, I say Kevin Spacey finally wins here. What do you say? I say Kevin Spacey deserves to win. It's a great yeah, I'm character. I'm not asking you who deserves to win. I don't know who who's going to win. 
<laughs> you know what? It depends on the we show. We have to make, we're pundits by... You know what? Bob Odenkirk never won for our, was even nominated for Breaking Bad. And then last year, first time out, obviously he wasn't going to win against John Hamm. But I really thought Bob Odenkirk's uh, Saul character is, is, is fabulous. And it, it can win. I agree that it's a contender there, that it actually can win. This year win. It has I, a I chance. Think, I think that if uh, Paul Giamatti is nominated, I think he can win. I think there's um, things like that that can happen here. But I think that we saw a... Um, a hint of, of what of the Emmys at the Golden Globes this year, which we don't always do, but that's where Kevin Spacey finally won his first Globe this year for House of Cards, and I think it's what you said earlier that we've we're, the way is is open now yeah. after Brian Cranston gone and John Hamm gone for Kevin finally to step forward. Yeah, and wouldn't it be ironic if Kyle Chandler came through again? You know? Right, that was uh, <laughs> he upset uh, John Hamm a few years ago, and, yeah, uh, with Friday Night Lights. Yes, and, uh, uh, in now his now final Bloodline's season. Bloodlines, a terrific show, by the way. In it now, let's jump over to actress here where we've got your your predicted nominees are Tatiana uh, Maslany from Orphan Black. She was nominated last year. Juliana Margulies, who, who jumps in and out of this category. Uh, Robin Wright, Viola Davis, uh, Michelle Dockery, and Claire Danes. What's yeah. size this up? Well, you know, I mean, I you notice I don't have Empire uh, pretty much Yeah, Taraji anywhere. Uh, Pienson, you don't have No, that. I think that that was a one-season sensation, uh, you know, for her. And uh, I think that kind of role, she's terrific in it. But I think in Emmy voters' minds, they've been there, done that. It was kind of like Joan Collins in Dynasty but, or that sort uh, of but thing. But let's, let's, use, let's, yeah. let's um, take that example. Do you know Dynasty and Dallas were snubbed their first year and yeah. then, then swept in with tons of nominations for yeah. the cast and show its second year? Right. So the question is, is Empire, Di Dynas Dynasty and Dallas, the trashy show that suddenly gets nominated for series for Terrence Howard? I for, well, why do you... I, I don't think it has the water cooler buzz. Give me the reason. Buzz. Don't just say... I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it has the water it's cooler It's the most buzz. watched show on broadcast television. Well, that's nice. But I don't think it has the water cooler. I'm happy for them. They're all getting rich. You know, but, but I don't think it has the buzz that it had its first year. The first year was intense. And if it didn't get nominated except for her in, and the costumer in the first year, it ain't going to happen in the second year where the buzz was less. You have to admit, Tom, people are not talking no, about No, I Empire. agree with that. But I, but I think that it is upscale. I think it's still cool. I think it has a chance to get in. I have her on my list. Now, Michelle yeah. Dockery, let's talk about her. Yeah. She was nominated three years in a row but was skunked last year yeah. she didn't make the list she's on your list time to come back it's the final year for Downton Abbey okay uh, Viola Davis won last year of course has she has to come in you know because yeah. she won last year right. Claire Danes has won a couple times but here but they love Claire Danes they just check her off right I, I agree with that she's in there but Juliana Margulies uh, last year wait a minute good, good she wife. was not in last year I know she but was in the she's she's what I call the Holland Taylor of the, of the Emmys remember <laughs> well, that's Holland? an obscure reference no but, but it, the reason <laughs> I mention it is remember she would be in one year she'd be out yeah. for two and a half men right. one year yeah. and it was yeah. the classic she is like that right right I right know. and Juliana Margulies keeps doing that in out in well this is an in year because because it's this her is final, the final year. year. Okay, okay. And by the way, on the writer's ballot, right. they submitted only one script, which is smart. Writers, don't submit 10 right. episodes. You're right. just cutting yourself out. Game of Thrones won last year because it submitted just one. Yes, and The Good Wife has final episode there, you know, and that sort of right. thing. You have a better chance. I mean, when you look at, and you have to read all the, and it doesn't list the writers, just list the whatever. Anyway, I, I digress. But I do think she'll no, get in true. this year because of that. And, uh, you know, and there you have it. I'm not sure who's going to win this category, though. What do you think? I think it's going to be Robin Wright. I, 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 I don't feel strongly been, yeah. about that. I think, you know, the, the, the plot twist on uh, House of Cards this year, where she has diabolically risen to take over yeah. the vice presidency she's and all these fabulous. great things. She's fantastic. She's she fabulous. won. She was so cool. Remember, she won the Golden Globe the first year. Yeah. And I think she still has that kind of residence and cachet, and, um, and I think she delivered this year. I would say that if it was still, um, you know, uh, limited voters in right. the final, that she would win easily. I don't know in the popularity in the contest, popular vote, right. it may go to Viola Davis right. again. I know, it could happen. Uh, you know who else I think could get in here? Uh, Kerry Russell, if, if the Americans finally gets in, yeah, I think it hasn't, she, she, it hasn't happened. And I think, and here's my prediction, and I'm out there with, uh, among the other pundits at Gold Derby, with Ken Tucker of Yahoo and Lynette Rice of Entertainment Weekly. We all believe that Katrina Boff of Outlander is going to get in. She got a Golden Globe nomination. The question is, are the voters watching stars? Maybe not. You shake your head. But on the other hand, if, if they have some familiarity with her, this is a superstar international. I am not saying they're not watching stars because I am predicting the dresser to get numerous nominations for stars. The biggest thing they've ever had. 
out, this show is like very popular in their sphere here. It's a very difficult kind of show to push into the Emmy race. Um, and I know she's hot and all of that, and I love the cast. Yeah, I think they're all great. I just think it's a tough thing to it's, break the, in the, the problem, the reason it's tough is it's a female skewing, romant, romantic, soap opera, bonics, ripper kind of a show. Very different. But, uh, and the, it, the male-dominated Academy may not be watching it. But it's I think, very but different. We're talking about the actor's branch here. Yeah, I and know. And that is very, very female-friendly, gay-friendly. I mean, the whole sensibility of romance. Could be. Uh, uh, you know, I don't think melodrama. there's going to be the room for a newcomer like that when you've got uh, people like Michelle Dockery and Juliana Margulies jumping back into the but race. The only oh. one who's missing here is uh, uh, Elizabeth Moss was, of course, isn't returning. Yeah. So you've got most of the nominees last year. They yeah. are returning now. Yeah, I think so. Tough race. We'll Thanks, see. Pete.